Do subscribe to Ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering, HSE and IIT JE main and advanced videos. Hello friends, in the last lecture we have studied about the classification of alkanes in which we have got to know there are uh, any straight chain carbon atoms, there are basically branch chain carbon atoms and related to branch chain carbon atoms and as well as the straight chain carbon atoms we are going to study about what are the different types of carbon atoms that we could see in alkane. So let us talk about that. So friends, now we are going to discuss about the different types of carbon atoms that are in, uh, that are in alkanes and what are those, let us study about that. So basically there are four uh, types of carbon atom that we could see in alkene uh, and starting with that is known as primary carbon atom, secondary carbon atom, tertiary carbon atom and quaternary carbon atom. So these are the four kinds of carbon atom that we could observe in an alkene. So it is not necessary that we will observe uh, all the types but it depends on the alkene that we are talking about. For example, in N chain that is uh, in, in a straight chain uh, carbon atom uh, that we could see that uh, primary and secondary carbon are being observed and in a branch chain we could see uh, secondary or might be tertiary. So what is actually primary and what is actually tertiary carbon atoms? Let me talk about that with uh, uh, starting with the primary carbon atom. So now we are going to discuss about what is primary carbon atom. So as the definition says that uh, this carbon atom is bonded to only one carbon atom or none. So the carbon atom which is being bonded to only one carbon atom or uh, which is bonded to only one carbon atom directly, uh, that carbon atom are called to be basically primary carbon atoms. Let me give an example. So this is an example that we have and we are going to discuss about the IPC name of this also but later on but uh, let us see that what are basically primary carbon atoms. So if you observe that uh, this carbon that is the carbon that I am talking about this carbon is attached to only one carbon atom here and directly. So that is the reason according to the definition this is the carbon atom that has been attached to only one carbon atom directly so that is the reason this could be called as primary carbon atom and primary carbon atom is been denoted by 1 degree. This 1 degree is nothing but primary carbon atom. So are there any other primary carbon atoms? So let us uh, think about that also. As you could see here, this is the carbon atom or this is a methyl group where we could see uh, which has been attached to only one carbon atom directly. So therefore even this is called to be primary carbon atom. Talking about this, even this is the one which has been attached to only one carbon atom directly. So therefore it is primary carbon atom and talking about this carbon, this carbon is also attached to one carbon atom directly so that is the reason it is also called to be the primary carbon atoms. So basically all the terminal atoms that we, all the terminal carbon atoms that we see in alkanes are basically can call to be uh, primary carbon atoms. The reason behind that is, suppose if we have choose this as the longest chain, so this is the longest chain that we have and as you could see that uh, this is the uh, terminal or the first carbon atom it starts from here and even this is can be called as first or the terminal carbon atom so that is the reason all the terminal carbon atoms that are uh, present in an alkane are called to be primary uh, carbon atoms and uh, similarly we could also take the example in this way that is in the vertical way also and in that case also this one would be the terminal carbon atom making this to be called as a primary carbon atom so there are different examples that i am going to uh, showcase so uh, i will showcase over here that is So this is basically propane and uh, in this we have to detect uh, which one is basically the primary carbon atom. So if you observe this carbon atom, well, this would be the terminal, again this would be the terminal carbon atom. But while thinking in terms of a definition, we could see that this is a carbon atom that has been attached to only one carbon atom over here. Uh, so that is the reason this is called to be primary carbon atom or one degree carbon atom. Talking about this carbon atom, again this carbon is attached to only one carbon atom over here. So therefore this is called to be primary carbon atom. But this carbon atom is not attached to only one carbon atom, but it is attached to two different carbon atoms. So that is the reason it won't be primary, it won't be something else. And what is that? We'll talk about in later uh, now itself. Uh, but uh, talking about the IPC name, uh, the IPC name of this one would be 2,2 dimethyl propane, while this one is propane. So in this case what we have got to know that this is the carbon atom which is not only attached to only one carbon atom, but it is the one which is attached to two carbon atoms making this to be called as a secondary carbon atom. And what is secondary carbon atom? Let us discuss about that. So now what is secondary carbon atom? This carbon atom is bonded to two other carbon atoms. So for example, if I will uh, give you, that is uh, this example. So 
so this is basically butane and uh, in this butane we have to detect that which one is basically the one which is uh, primary or secondary and the main intention is to uh, to find out uh, or to determine that which one is the secondary carbon atom so according to the definition we know that uh, this is a carbon atom which is being attached to two different carbon atoms or two other carbon atoms so if we observe here that this is a carbon atom which has been attached to only one carbon atom directly uh, and it has been forming a bond so that's the reason it is primary so this is what we have learned in our uh, nephew while ago and uh, talking about this carbon atom even this carbon atom has been attached to only one carbon atom making this to be called as a primary carbon atom but if i talk about this carbon atom that is ch2 this is the carbon atom which has been attached to two carbon atoms that is this one is the first one and suppose this is the second one so this is the carbon atom that has been attached to two different carbon atoms or two other carbon atoms making this to be called as a secondary carbon atom so for secondary carbon atom we denote it by 2 degree this 2 degree means secondary carbon atom so is there any other carbon atom which is secondary carbon atom in this uh, alkene that i have uh, written over here so let us check about that because this two are uh, this three are been mentioned but talking about this carbon atom again this carbon atom is the one which has been attached to two different carbon atoms as you could see here it is bonded with two other carbon atoms that is the reason this would be called as secondary carbon atom so it is very easy to understand that uh, what is primary and what is secondary and talking about the name of this thing the iobc name of this molecule could be called as uh, butane so the primary has been done the secondary has been done and let us move on with the next one that is tertiary carbon atom so similarly like we have uh, understood for the primary one which is uh, the one which the carbon which is attached to only one carbon atom directly uh, secondary it is attached to two uh, carbon directly and it would be uh, similar to that uh, this will be the carbon atom that is bonded to three other carbon atoms so very easy to understand uh, let me give you an example that is uh, this one in this we have to estimate that which one is basically is uh, the tertiary uh, carbon atom according to the definition that we have got to know uh, but uh, first of all let us bifurcate all those uh, that is primary or secondary uh, so as we could see that uh, as i have mentioned earlier also this are the terminal carbon atom that i have said so there's other terminal carbon atoms and that's the reason that it would be called as primary carbon atom and moreover we could see that this is the carbon atom that is been attached to only one carbon atom directly talking about this carbon atom even this carbon atom is the one that is been attached to only one carbon atom making this to be called as primary carbon atom or one degree carbon atom so is there any other primary carbon atoms also we will check that all here that is this is the carbon atom or this is the methyl group which consists of a carbon atom that is only attached to only one carbon atom directly so therefore even this is called to be primary even this methyl group is called to be primary and even this methyl group so have you noticed one thing all the methyl groups are uh, said to be basically the primary uh, carbon atoms so so ch3 molecule is the one which would be at the terminal or which would be in the branching even that would be called as a primary carbon atom and to talking about the next one what would be the second secondary carbon is the one which has been attached to uh, other carbon atoms so in this case suppose uh, if i am talking about this carbon atom this carbon atom is the one which has been attached to two different carbon atoms over here as you could see so therefore this would be called as the secondary carbon atom so is there any other secondary carbon atom let uh, us check that also so suppose this is the carbon atom that we have considered and even this has been attached to two different carbon atoms but it is not only attached to two different carbon atoms actually it is attached to three other carbon atoms making this to be called not as the secondary but tertiary which is denoted by 3 degree so is there any other 3 degree carbon atom or the tertiary carbon atom let us check that also even this carbon if i would mention this carbon is the one which is attached to three carbon atoms that is 1 2 and 3 making this to be 3 degree carbon atom and even this carbon is the one which has been left out and let us see that uh, which type of carbon atom it is that is it is the carbon atom which is attached to three different carbon atoms as you could see over here making this to be called as a 3 degree carbon atom or tertiary carbon atom so it was very easy to understand and uh, let us consider the fourth point i hope you have got to know that what would be the definition of the fourth point yes it is very much uh, familiar right now that is uh, it will be the carbon atom which has been bonded to four other carbon atoms and that makes us uh, that makes us to understand that that carbon would be basically a quaternary uh, carbon atom for that we have an example that is this one and uh, in this case uh, first of all the thing that we have to do for example to detect that how much uh, uh, number of uh, 
quaternary, tertiary, or carbonate absorbing present. It is very essential for us to uh, just uh, bifurcate uh, that which one would be the primary and which one would be the secondary. And then we could move on to calculate that uh, which one is the tertiary. Even we could calculate it directly, but it would be very much better to go with the start one that is primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary. So starting about this, uh, so this is the methyl group and as we know that this is a terminal carbon atom as well as it has been attached to only one carbon atom directly or bonded with one carbon atom. So therefore this will be called as primary carbon atom. Even this one could be called as primary, even this CH3 will be called as primary, primary carbon atom. Again this one will be the primary carbon atom. Talking about the secondary carbon atom, so is there any secondary carbon atom? Yes. This is the carbon atom which has been attached to two different carbon atoms over here as you could see directly and bonded with that and that is the thing that it is called to be secondary carbon atom and talking about this carbon atom this is carbon atom which is not only attached to only two carbon atoms but is attached to three carbon atoms making this to be called as tertiary carbon atom and talking about the fourth one that is the quaternary is there any presence of any quaternary uh, carbon atom yes it is this one so this is the carbon atom that has been attached to actually four other carbon atoms making this to be called as ordinary carbon atom. So the number of carbon atoms that we have observed here is for primary we have observed here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 primary carbon atoms, 1 secondary carbon atom, 1 tertiary carbon atom and 1 uh, that is a quaternary carbon atom. So this is the example that we have took uh, in our primary exam in, in, the, in the description of the primary uh, carbon atom also and let me talk about that. So that is this one. So this is the carbon atom which was basically attached to four different carbon atoms making this to be called as quaternary carbon atom. So this is how we have discussed about the types of the carbon atom. I hope you have understood uh, what are the types of carbon atom that we could observe in alkane. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and you will share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.